Hi there, this is the PPT guy. Today, I have brought a PowerPoint slide tutorial to create 10 awesome slides in just 10 minutes using simple features available in Microsoft PowerPoint. No beating around the bush, let us just get started. Let me start on the first slide. Insert a round corner rectangle. Duplicate it multiple times and ensure equal spacing horizontally. Move all shapes close to the top corner, so one round corner is out of the slide. Change the height of the shapes one by one. Select all of them and click on Union under Merge Shapes. Insert a rectangle and cover the entire slide. Select both shapes and click on Subtract under Merge Shapes. Change the color of the shape, insert an image and send it backwards. Insert some additional text, our first slide is ready. Now, to the second slide. Insert an image. Duplicate it and right-click, select Format Shape. Click on Artistic Effects in the Task Pane and select Blur Effect. Change the radius to 40. Cut the blurred photo and open Format Background. Select the Picture Fill option and click on the clipboard. Move the image back to cover the entire slide. Insert a round cornered rectangle. Under Format Shape, select Gradient Fill and change the color of gradient bars to white. Change the gradient angle to 45 degrees. Adjust the gradient bars position and transparency level to get a foggy effect. Duplicate the rectangle. Change the first rectangle to background fill and place the duplicate one right on top of it. Let's add some text. This effect is called the glass morphic effect and our second slide is done. Third slide it is. We'll use a video. Click on the insert tab and select insert video. I already have a video ready, let's insert it. Stretch the video to fill the entire slide. Under the Playback tab, select Video to play automatically. Insert a rectangle to cover the right half of the slide. Remove the outline of the shape and change the color to white. Under the Shape Format tab, select the Edit Points option. Deform the shape as I'm doing it. Insert a text. Change its font and size. Select the deformed shape and the text. Under Merge option, select Combine. We'll add some more text for appearance. Voila! Here's our third awesome slide. For our fourth slide, we'll send text behind an object within the image. Insert an image. Duplicate the image. Select the second image and under Picture Format, select Crop option. Crop the image so only one tree is remaining in the image. Place the cropped image exactly on the first image. Insert some text. Send it backwards behind the cropped image. It appears like the text is behind the tree. This would make an awesome cover slide. We are close to halfway on fifth slide. Insert an image and crop it to the aspect ratio 16 to 9. Stretch the image to fill the entire slide. Insert a rectangle and cover it over the entire slide. Make it a gradient fill with black color. Insert a round corner rectangle and increase its curve. Duplicate it a few times.
Select Background Fill under Shape Format. Add a shadow. Change the height of each rectangle for a different appearance. Select all of them and align the middle. Add some extra text for appearance. The slide is done. Why don't you give a like on the video? Let us head to our sixth slide. Insert an image. Cut it and make it a background using Format Background. Paste it again on the slide, select the Crop option and crop only the camel. Under Picture Format, select the Remove Background option. Remove everything except the camel. Insert a text and change its font and size. Place it at the center, change the color to white and duplicate it. Make the duplicate text no fill and give a white outline. Place it on top of the previous text. Go to pixabay.com. Search for an ink video and download it. Go to unscreen.com and upload the downloaded video. The background is removed. Download it. Go back to PowerPoint and insert the downloaded video. Stretch the ink video to fill the entire slide and move it above to place on the text. Send it one step backwards. Our sixth slide is done. It is time for the seventh slide. Insert a hexagon and remove its outline. Duplicate it multiple times and create a beehive-like appearance. Select all of them and stretch them to fit on the slide. Select all of them and click on Union under Merge Shapes. Under Format Shape, select Picture Fill and click on Clipboard. Add some text to match the image. The slide is ready. Give this design a try. Next, we'll move on to our eighth slide. Insert an image and cover it over the entire slide. Insert a table 7x7. Seven seven. Stretch it to fill the entire slide. Select the table and select no fill. Change the color of the border to white and increase the border width as well. Select few cells and fill them with white color. Select few random cells and fill them as well. Add some text on the larger white space. This awesome PowerPoint slide is done. Next, to the ninth slide. Insert a text. Change its font and font size and make it bigger to fill the entire slide. Insert a rectangle and cover all over the slide. Remove its outline and then send it behind the slide. Select the rectangle and the text and click on Subtract under Merge Shapes. Insert a video. Stretch the video to fill the entire slide. Send the video back and change the color of the shape to white. The awesome fire slide is complete. Now, our last slide. Insert a round corner rectangle. Adjust its curve and remove the outline. Duplicate the shape and place it next to the first one such that it overlaps. Duplicate it multiple times and fill it through the width of the slide. Select all of them and place it at the center of the slide. Vary the height of each rectangle. Let us remove the excess rectangles. Select all of them and click on Align Middle. Group them and stretch it along the height and width of the slide. Insert a rectangle and cover the entire slide and send it backwards. Ungroup the previous rectangles and click on Union under Merge Shapes. Select the rectangle and New Shape and select Subtract under the Marge Shapes. Change the color of the shape to Gradient Fill. Insert an image and send it behind the, the shape. Insert a text and place it at the center of the slide. 
Now, all slides are done. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload a new PowerPoint tutorial.